let's draw the Lewis dot structure for nitrate, NO3 minus. Well, we know that nitrogen is the central atom. The oxygens are going to surround it. And nitrogen has one, two, three, four, five valence electrons. Oxygen has six. It's in group 6A. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And you just start drawing them around. Just get them out there so now we don't have to add them up, count them, subtract anything. They're just all there and we can visually see them. So now we know that there's actually one extra electron that's going to have to go into this Lewis dot structure. So let's go ahead and just put it on the most electronegative atom, oxygen. And now this oxygen has a formal charge of negative one, which we just say negative because we just picked it. You could have picked one over here, you could have picked any, either any one of those more electronegative atoms, which would be an oxygen. But I chose this one, so now we give it a negative charge because remember electrons are negatively charged. If it gained an electron, it now has a formal negative charge. So now let's start connecting the dots and creating our Lewis dot structure for this molecule. Hmm, that's interesting. All right, we've got one atom that's happy, oxygen. Two, four, six, eight. Eight valence electrons. It's happy. It's got a negative charge because it was the one that gained the electrons. And nitrogen's happy. It has its three bonds and two lone pairs of electrons. Two, four, six, eight. So it's happy, but this oxygen is not happy, and that oxygen is not happy. Hmm. What are we going to do? Well, why don't we try this and pair up? Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Um, try that. Now, this oxygen's happy. That oxygen's happy. Oh, we just made the nitrogen mad. Two, four, six, eight, nine. Oh no, it has nine electrons. What happens when they have nine electrons around a nitrogen? Can't happen, can it? Nitrogen is one of those period two, can't expand its octet. So this electron cannot be on that nitrogen, but look, this oxygen wants an electron. So we hop over there, <laughs> move that electron to that oxygen and now let's redraw so that we have excuse me I'm trying to video type and think and write it's kind of hard <laughs> so I apologize if I'm a little shaky but I moved that electron here and remember this one still has that negative formal charge now what are going to be the charges on these atoms well Nitrogen lost an electron. Remember, electrons are negatively charged, so it has a formal positive charge because it lost an electron. It gave it to this oxygen, so it now has a formal negative charge. So this would be a valid Lewis structure for the nitrate atom. You might be tempted to say, well, wait, why don't these electrons down here just share. You know, you're right right here. Well, we knew that they couldn't share because it would have given nitrogen 2, 4, 6, 8, 10 electrons. So since nitrogen can't share, it would have liked to have shared, right? It would have wanted to form a covalent bond with this electron, with this electron. Well, it can't do that because nitrogen can't expand its octet. So it just moves over and now this oxygen has a negative formal charge and this nitrogen has a negative a positive and that oxygen has a negative. So overall the charge is just minus one. We only added one electron to this structure. And then we just moved the electron over here. So now let's draw the resonance structures because remember we didn't have to put this double bond up here. Oh we forgot our valence electrons when I redrew it that you had one, two, three, four. One, two. All right. So we could have put our double bond here.
or we could have put the double bond over here. And we put them in brackets. So the Lewis dot structure for the nitrate anion. It looks kind of messy, but as you practice, you'll start doing these and be just very f proficient with drawing Lewis dot structures. And this is going to be really important if you go on to take organic chemistry. You'll need to know how to draw Lewis dot structures.